I am today announcing the suspension of State Attorney Monique Worrell from the Ninth Judicial Circuit, effective immediately. I'm appointing Judge Andrew Bain to take over as State Attorney for the Ninth Judicial Circuit. Judge Bain is currently a judge in Orlando. He is a native Floridian. Uh, he attended University of Miami, where he played football, and he received his law degree uh, from Florida A&M Law School. And I trust that he will be a prosecutor uh, that faithfully enforces the law and will keep the communities of Central Florida so safe. this is this is just this afternoon, and that's Florida Governor Ron DeSantis who announced the suspension of this uh, state attorney, Monique Worrell. And uh, the left is, uh, well, I'm starting to see literally like uh, these stories populate. They are apoplectic. Uh, she's the state attorney suspended for neglect of duty and incompetence. Welcome back to the program. Top of this third hour with you, Dana Lash here. Listen coast to coast, stream the sim- stream the show, watch the simulcast, uh, and you can also find us uh, on uh, channel 347 Direct TV. So she's an Orlando state attorney, uh, dereliction of duty on crime, and the, as I said, the left is livid. She is, you know, you know, uh, a source prosecutor. And she's angry over, I think, did I drop you the sound? Because she had a, a sound bite, her response. But I first heard of her uh, from the Pine Hills uh, killing. Let me bring this story. Uh, this is a really sad story. I wanted to bring this story up. Uh, this is back in March. This is when I really first started hearing her name. The story is of this 19-year-old who was accused in the Pine Hills shooting spree. He was indicted on murder charges. He fatally shot three, including a nine-year-old child. Uh, He was accused of killing a woman, the nine-year-old child, and an Orlando television news reporter, Keith Moses, 19, only say his name once. Now, according to the affidavit, the Warren affidavit, he went into a home, near the area of the uh, initial where he initially uh, shot and killed someone he fatally shot uh the nine-year-old and injured her mother then he killed uh the other two victims according to deputies and he just i mean he he had uh i mean just a horrible i mean 19 years old 19 years old But here's really what is unbelievable about this. Because that 19-year-old should have never been on the street. Ever. This individual, because remember after this, right when this crime first hit headlines, there was a lot of discussion from the left about quote-unquote gun violence. But then, remember, they all got real quiet. You never really heard much, much else about the Pine Hills thing. And that is because the suspect was a known gang member with an extensive record. So it couldn't be a discussion about gun safety or quote unquote gun violence because it was about stupid Soros prosecutors and restorative justice. And it, I, and I remember DeSantis had eviscerated her at a different presser about that. And so they released a letter to her in March. He told the DA, I want all of your documentation on why you allowed this killer to stay on the streets. They wanted to know why. He had been arrested so many times. He had multiple, multiple firearm possession charges. He said that he had been, uh, in November of 21, he was arrested in Orange County. The affidavit noted that he also had a gun on him. He had ski style mask. He was with some other people. They all had guns and ski style masks. They were, he was previously arrested for battery, burglary, larceny, robbery with a firearm, possession with the firearm of a firearm, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon without intent to kill, uh, multiple instances of resisting officers, other serious threats. They did not pursue charges against him at that time. That DA allowed that, that, night that killer to remain on the streets he had an an extensive multi-page criminal history well-known gang affiliation and 
that was when Monique Worrell should have known that she was on notice. And he had already kicked out Andrew Warren from the state attorney post, DeSantis did, because he was saying he was going to ignore a number of different laws, including that of the state passed law limiting abortion. But Worrell, here's the thing. This is a dangerous, multi-offense felon. They just let him roam the streets to commit crime at will. And so she was trying to defend herself. Her surrogates were saying DeSantis was, was shameful and racist and all this other stuff. And it was weird because Democrats were insisting on blaming the Pine Hills uh, killings on a lack of gun control. When it wasn't a lack of gun control, because this, this, the killer had multiple firearm offenses on his record that Worrell could have taken him off the street for, but she chose not to. So you're making a far leftist prosecutor and her absolute refusal to uphold the law on firearms, you're saying that, oh, no, that didn't do it. It's because there aren't any laws. No, the laws that she could have actually charged him on existed. She just chose not to charge him with the violation of those laws. You absolute morons. This is happening in city after city after city after city. And now she's out. And they told her, you clearly have zero respect for rule of law. We're going to find someone who does. And he did. He fired her. He canned this Soros prosecutor. And he announced the decision today. He said, uh, as you heard him, her administration of criminal justice in the Ninth Circuit is clearly fundamentally derelict. It's neglect of duty and competence. I would agree. Let me just tell you some of the stuff. Let me, can I give you her hits? Let me give you her hits. This is uh, August 8th. This, uh, I had this because this was also, they were trying to make this a gun control thing. This uh, one man, he was arrested in March of this year. Sexual battery on a minor. Molestation. He was a child predator. Worrell let him out on bond. And August 8th, he shot and killed two Orlando police officers. A child molester who should have been in jail, but Worrell let walk the streets, shot and killed two Orlando cops. A 17-year-old who had been arrested in a fatal shooting of a missing pregnant teenager in Orange County, he, faces, he faced second-degree murder charges. This is November of 22. He was arrested in May of that year for illegal possession of a firearm on school property. That's a felony because guns are banned on school grounds. That's federal law and criminal possession of a firearm by a minor. She let him walk. He was released. They did not act on any of the charges. No, they didn't, do, they didn't even say a word about the charges until he killed his pregnant girlfriend. Uh, there is a, another, she in 21, Monique Worrell, refused to prosecute uh, five charges on a guy who had robbed occupants at gunpoint in their home. He had multiple counts of armed burglary, illegal possession of a firearm, false imprisonment, should have been a 10-year mandatory maximum, or sorry, a mandatory minimum per charge. And uh, nope, she declined to prosecute. And because she didn't prosecute, he couldn't be declared a uh, prohibited possessor because he wasn't a felon. He was an, a convicted uh, felon. So he could go out and buy and possess a gun. Oh, yeah, and then he got arrested for murder later because she let him. And then she dropped the premeditated murder charge. I mean, there is... There is so much here. Uh, there was a, let's see, there was a guy, Lathan Yee. He was charged with attempted murder, aggravated battery. Uh, he should have faced 25 years in prison. She reduced his prison to attempted manslaughter, no mandatory minimum. He got just a couple of years. Unbelievable. I mean, there are so many of these. 
There was a, she lets child pornographers walk free, child molesters walk free, rapists walk free, murderers walk free. Randall Fredericks is a, a child predator, was arrested for possession of child pornography three years ago. Last year, he was charged with 45 counts of child pornography. And uh, he should have actually been 15 years in prison. She watered down everything and just uh, sent, sentenced him to uh, 130 months. She just pursued 130 months. That is who got fired. Now, you tell me how keeping a far-left prosecutor like this who lets rapists, convicted child molesters, who go on to molest and kill more kids, uh, multiple, you know, offense, you know, murderers, all kinds of, you know, gangbangers, etc. You tell me how that betters the, the, the community. The left is, is going apoplectic. They're livid because DeSantis fired this broad. I think when you're dereliction of duties that bad, you ought to have your ass beat. But that's my two cents. I don't make the rules. He, so he fired her and they're livid. They're trying to make it about race and all this other stuff. Because she's a black prosecutor. That is dis- that's racist. To excuse your coddling of rapists and child molesters and murderers by trying to hide behind your skin color. I mean, that's the racist thing. Because you don't want to be held to the same level, the same standard of law as everyone else. That's equality. No, you want special accommodation because suddenly you think that you should get it. Because I mean, that's, that's infuriating. I mean, tell that to all the victims that she helped create because she coddled these offenders. So that's who he fired. He fired that woman. And she called him a weak dictator. Yeah, listen to this. This is her response. I am your duly elected state attorney for the Ninth Judicial Circuit. And nothing done by a weak dictator can change that. I, my rage knows no bounds when it comes to this broad. She would rather protect child molesters and murderers and rapists than the people that she was supposed to serve. 